Hey you guys and thanks for tuning in again for another episode of The Pole Project. This is Ayelet as usual and welcome to episode number nine. Woohoo! Time does fly and I can't believe I've been doing this for two months and I still don't have a microphone. So hopefully that is going to be solved uh, by the time you'll hear the next episode. But until then, I am here with my phone recording audio, and I think you'll have to bear with me. So today I'll be talking to you about a subject that is very important to me, and I feel like I have a lot to say about this one. So get ready, because this is going to be a long one. Today I will discuss three life lessons that pole dancing has taught me. I will address topics that are not about how I feel inside the studio and while I'm on the pole. It's kind of more what I take with me once I leave the studio and what stays with me in my daily life. So the first life lesson that pole dancing has taught me, and I think a lot of you will be able to relate to that, is it really does teach you about the people around you. Suddenly, all the sexist and the primitives come to light. Suddenly you know who has all these stereotypes and ancient ideas about what a woman should be and what a woman's sexuality should be. And all the general creeps just show themselves. And on the other hand, all the people that are really your friends will stick with you and stand by you even you're doing this sport that is quote unquote provocative. It is definitely going to teach you a lesson, sometimes a good one and sometimes a bad one, about the people who are around you. And let me just say this, that the good people are going to stay, and if someone doesn't stay, it just means that they're not good people for you. Also, can I just say that dating is like so much easier when you do pole dance, because there are only two reactions that I've heard so far from people that I have presented myself to and said, oh yeah, by the way, I pole dance. It's either, oh, you can dance on my pole sometime, or it's, whoa, that is so cool, that's probably so hard, like, tell me about it. My friends, if you hear the first reaction, run, don't ever look back, that men are women. Well, I I guess women don't have poles that you can dance on unless they have like a literal pole in their bedroom whatever the point is if someone gives you that first reaction run and don't look back uh they are major creeps and you do not want them in your life and the second reaction is just so much cooler and it's just nice to know where you stand uh when you just put yourself out there and you're like you know what this is the fact i know it's controversial i just put it out there and based on the reactions You just know who's good for you and who's better off outside of your life. So really, it is just a great filter to filter out the bad people and the negative people out of your life. And it is also a very good dating life plus. The second life lesson that pole dancing has taught me has got to be, and that is not just exclusive for pole dancing, I guess you could say that about any sport you start doing if you haven't been athletic before, but it really did connect me with my own body. I don't even mean like in a sexy way or in a matter of confidence or self-esteem. I mean in the physical way. Your body knows itself better than you think and you just have to figure that out. Ever since I started training and working out, I can just read my body and the signs that it's given me so much better than before. Whether it's like, oh, I feel like I haven't moved in a while, I need to get up on the pole and do something. Whether it's I've trained too much or I've worked my ass off this week and I need to just take it easy for the next few days and let myself relax. Whether it's just like now I need a comfort food because I'm after a hard day or now I feel like I need a healthy food because your body knows what it wants and you just have to listen It does teach you a lot and connects you with your own body. The best example I can give to that is when I took a break from pole and I didn't train for a few months. If you listened to my past episode, uh, Getting Back on the Pole, then you know that, uh, that I took a pretty long break from pole. And once I got back, that feeling that I got of getting my body back, I don't even mean 
like my physical form, I mean the connection that I have with my body. It was restored and that feeling was amazing and I didn't even know it was gone. But once I got it back, I realized I missed it so much. So that is definitely something I'm very glad that I got back. So the last life lesson that I wanted to touch is a lesson about femininity and power. Um, I am not going to go on a feminist rant, but I will just say this. Ever since you're a little girl, I am addressing to the girls here, I don't know what the male experience is because I've never been male, but uh, let me know if you can relate to that as well, boys. Ever since we were little girls, we were told, even if it wasn't by our family members or friends, by society in general, that we're supposed to be like little and nice and submissive. And if someone's like, oh, you can dance with my pole, you're supposed to like giggle and think it's funny when it's actually not and it's very creepy. Once you hang upside down for fun and you define gravity and you spin like crazy on the pole, it's just the best feeling in the world. You're like the baddest bitch that ever walked the streets. And it gives you just the power to be who and what you want to be. It gives you control on the woman that you want to be. It's just that feeling of strength, of bravery, and of danger. Those are things that are very unique to our sport. And I think not many other fields of sport can give you that feeling but just the fact that you are doing that thing and breaking out of that little box that society always wants to put us in and you're doing like, yeah, I'm doing that thing that is very controversial and it's very not accepted in a lot of places. And no, I am not a prostitute or a stripper, even though there is nothing wrong with being both of those things. Sex work is work, everyone. But you can be an athlete and do that for fun. Do that as work whatever you decide to do with it just the fact that you're able to do those things without any shame or guilt and do them with your head held high and with pride I think that just beats everything and I did consider myself a feminist long before I started pole dancing I was very confident about myself and my sexuality and all of that and I wasn't ashamed of any of these things but pole dancing just elevated it to a whole new level and if you're not confident before you start pole dancing about yourself, about your looks, or about your femininity or sexuality in general, just imagine how you'll feel after that. I mean, it only elevated me. I wasn't in a bad place before pole dancing, but I am in a better place after. So yeah, I do feel like I had a lot to say about this one. Next episode is going to be our 10th episode. I am very excited about this. I know it's just like 10 episodes. Like, who cares? It's not that much. But it is, I feel, like uh, an achievement for me that I have stuck with it so far. That I never miss an upload on our Instagram page. If you're not following along, it's the Poe Project podcast. And I post four posts a week, which is a lot. I feel like it definitely feels like a lot to me. So if you're not following there, uh, hurry up and go follow. I am trying to reach 50 followers by the end of this month. So if you will do that and help me reach that goal, it will make my day. Also, we have a Facebook page. It's The Pole Project. Feel free to like us on there. If you are a pole dancer, influencer, whatever, entrepreneur, I don't know how you name it these days, Instagram pool model... <laughs> If you're any of these things and you have a fluent English and you really want to do an episode, I would be so happy. Feel free to message me on Facebook or DM me on Instagram about any collaborations. I would love to do anything like that. Um, I have many topics that I can ask people about. If you want to participate but you don't know what you want to do or what you want to say or what you want to talk about, then I have a full list. So don't be shy and just contact me I would love to feature anyone else in an episode but me like it will be probably much less awkward than me talking to myself in my bedroom so yeah thank you guys for listening so far do let me know if you have anything to say any ideas will be welcomed thank you for listening and I hope to see you again next week goodbye and happy pole dancing